Traditional agriculture and growing with the sun and soil has been the bread and butter of farming for centuries. However, an alternative option is now available that doesn't use the sun or any soil. So in this video, I will show you how soilless and sunless farming works, what kind of benefits this will bring to food production and how all of this works, for example, with the devices behind me. So first up, let's talk about breaking free from traditional constraints using indoor vertical farming. In indoor vertical farming, we don't use any soil or sunlight. Instead, we grow plants by using innovative farming techniques like hydroponics and aeroponics. These growing methods allow us to grow food anywhere from urban rooftops to abandoned warehouses to restaurant dining halls and even to the International Space Station. In hydroponics, we deliver nutrients directly to the plant roots using a nutrient-rich water mixture. This allows us to optimize plant growth and to eliminate the need for soil. Plus, by using LED lighting that mimics sunlight, we can replace the sun and control the growth cycles of the plants perfectly without having to worry about cloudy or, for example, rainy days. So have you ever dreamt of growing fresh, delicious, quality exotic herbs without any kind of effort for your business or inside your own kitchen? Well, that is now possible thanks to Herbie, your friendly indoor gardening buddy. With Herbie, you can grow almost anything anywhere. Want to grow Nordic berries in the middle of the Caribbean Sea in your yacht? Or exotic edible flowers in the middle of the Arctic? No problem. Herbie will grow fresh herbs, leafy greens, and a range of edible flowers automatically without you having to learn anything about technology or plant biology. Herbie is ideal for fine dining establishments and boutique hotels with demanding customers and a busy staff. So Herbie will officially launch later in 2024, so make sure to join our waiting list today and secure your spot in the queue to get your own Herbie indoor farming appliance. Now back to the video. So one of the biggest advantages of indoor vertical farming is year-round crop production. So as you might know, traditional agriculture is often at the mercy of natural seasons and unpredictable weather. And with the intensifying effects of climate change, we need new ways to grow fresh food that is unlinked from such extra external variables. Thus, by controlling and optimizing the growing environment carefully, indoor vertical farming enables crop production around the year, regardless of the location or the time of year. By doing this, indoor vertical farming can significantly reduce the risk of crop failure due to adverse weather conditions. Additionally, efficiency and resource optimizations are also key when doing indoor vertical farming. Conventional field farming uses huge amounts of water and land with large quantities of water being lost to the soil or through evaporation. Indoor vertical farming, on the other hand, can create significant water savings by circulating the water used and by capturing the humidity inside of the farming facilities. Additionally, by growing food upwards in stacked layers, indoor vertical farming can use far less space compared to conventional farming when measured per unit of land used. Also, by growing the plants in a controlled indoor environment, like in the cabinets behind me, we can control the plant growth precisely, reducing waste and multiplying yields compared to traditional field farms. Anyways, indoor vertical farming isn't just about local benefits, it's also about global impact. <coughs> this is Alexi, by the way. He's doing something funny. <laughs> Anyways, indoor vertical farming isn't just about local benefits, it's about global impact. By addressing food security challenges, indoor farming can help provide fresh produce to areas, for example, with poor soil quality or harsh climates. This technology could potentially even serve as a solution for crisis areas where local food production has been destroyed through natural disasters or, for example, by war. So stepping back for a second, have you ever noticed how produce bought from the store often lacks flavor? So one of the Actual reasons for this is that fresh food, as they call it, is often traveling long distances just to get to your plate. Indoor vertical farming, on the other hand, allows us to grow produce much, much, much closer to where it's actually consumed, decreasing the overall delivery miles or the distance between farm to fork, as they call it, basically ensuring that the food is more fresh 
and tastier when it arrives on your plate. In fact, by reducing the distance food travels, we also cut down on transportation emissions and packaging waste. For example, what if each major shopping center, airport, uh, university campus or ski resort had their own hyperlocal farm producing food for their local community around the year? This would mean not only a better and healthier produce to the customers, but also a smaller environmental impact from global logistics. Oh, and by the way, if we did food production like this, it wouldn't matter if a container ship parked itself sideways in the Suez Canal blocking global shipping. We would still have fresh food on our plates because it no longer has to travel across the world to reach your supermarket. Anyways, let's talk a bit... Nah. Anyways, the next topic... Uh, Moving on, let's talk about pesticides. So traditional farming often relies heavily on pesticides to protect their crops. But in indoor vertical farming, the controlled environment means fewer pests and diseases. This means that we can significantly reduce the need for chemical pesticides, resulting in healthier, cleaner and just all in all safer produce for you and your family. Basically, just imagine if you wouldn't have to clean your leafy greens after buying them from a supermarket ever again. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, if you want to learn more about hydroponic farming, we have a video just for you right here.